Hey everyone, um, so today we are doing a uniform look in detail. So uh, we'll go through everything real close up and show you guys everything that I have. So that would be pretty neat. All right, let's, let's get started with the great coat. So, uh, this is the M35, 1935 model. Uh, speaking of, hold on a second, guys. Here we can see the uh, collar tab cover. This one's open right here. There we go. Sorry for the crappy camera movement. Here are the buttons. A row of uh, five, three, four, or is it five up here? Last one's them here. But yeah, three. Oh, six. My bad. Six guys. One, two, three, four. Wait, three, four, five, six. <laughs> there we go. All right. See, so here is uh, belt loops here. Some leather on top. On both sides we have here the pockets you can see how deep they go from here one second these are the pockets three here so from this three here to this large large and deep all right. Um, the inner lighting, of course, is uh, white. So I'll show you guys in a second. So this is the inside. Oh, uh, sorry for the, the lawnmower. Neighbors mowing their lawn. All right. So this is the inside. The great coat. And I think I want to point out these uh, shoulder board, boards rolls on both sides. So this is the interior of the great coat. With the pocket again. Big pocket. Uh, here's another pocket in here. And then to the other side too, another pocket. Alright. So here is the uh, M38 model tunic. So it has a drink insignia that I made myself. This is the red is for the uh, artillery units. Green brown would have been for infantry. Uh, this is the 156th uh, position artillery regiment. Uh, this unit right here, 156, is in Schönen Overrasch Schönenborg. Kill filled inside of it. So, uh, sorry about the wind. This right here is uh, the buttons. Oh, and then again, uh, these are two centimeters all wide. Well, on the great coat, they are two and a half centimeters wide. So, let's look inside here. Again, white lining. A uh, belt loop right here. So you guys there. Belt loop. Interior pocket right here. With a button. And look down this side. Another pocket. With the belt loop holder. Alright. Next, we have the uh, trousers. These are the M38 model. With uh, zippers, on the zippers, the tie for the bottom of the legs. I'm just gonna show you guys the inside of the belt, I mean of the trousers. 
So here's the inside of the trousers, the flaps open, the button. You read uh, five of them. Um, pockets are right here. Get them kind of deep. Uh, yeah, they're, they're definitely deep. Um, so yeah. Here, of course, is the suspen 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 sorry. suspenders. These aren't friends, these are just regular suspenders I have. Uh, so, yeah. Let's go down here. These are the uh, late, uh, legging laces. There's a flap over here, but buckle for this. Both of the legs have these. Right, now let's move on to the uh, putties. However you say them and spell them. All right, so here they are. They come in at the 220 centimeters or 270 centimeters long. The other one rolled up. See, so you get a little working the sewing detail here. Just tie it off. Right. Let's see how white these putties are. Uh, let's see. One second. Sorry about the Ooh, really strong. So here, they're about 11 centimeters wide. Move to the uh, undershirt. Here it is. I'm going to tie it so I can throw it on top. Alright. Yeah, there is the collar with a uh, button here. And here to uh, attach themselves for this right there. And, uh, you have two breast pockets pleated. And uh, there's the arms, the sleeves, I mean. That's the buttons. And the inside is pretty much the same as the outside. No difference. Alright. Now let's move to the, uh, uh, I forgot the name of it, Basque hat. So this is the one I have here. These are used for the not, not lying uh, soldiers. With the badge on the Basque they shall not pass. Zoom the closer. Let me study the camera. There we go. So, uh, yeah. Let me have the capote. Police hat. Look inside of it. Fear lighting. A little headband. Okay. Here we have the M1926 French Adrian helmet. RF, regiment for the S stands for, but yeah. The bomber right here, the grenade. The top piece right here. The rear. 
the interior with the strap, chin strap. It's getting kind of hot in the sun. <laughs> so, yeah. There it is. Alright. Now let's move to the other items. Now I have shown you guys this in detail before in the other video. So this is the, jet, the gas mask bag. This is the EMP31 Aperio Protection AP, AP, AP or whatever. Aperio Protection Mask. Um, so there's that again. Alright. These are the uh, label rifle ammo pouches. I only had two of them. It's supposed to be three, but I couldn't get the third one because they were sold out. There's only two available when I bought them. But I'll keep that in the coming months. Alright. Now let's move to the belt. So this is the same belt worn as the first World War. No changes. Very little. Here's the, the hooks. Oh yeah. Now here the final piece are the boots. So here they are blackened. Oh, the hot nails intact, it's all there. I think she gave me inside now it's too dark. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Alright. Look, look at the gas a little bit closer again. Oh, crystal but broken. The gas masks in the back are originals. Yeah, it's just the helmet as well, the original. There are a few more things I want to mention before we end the video. Um, the great coat for uh, this one right here. As you saw, this one has a uh, Double pockets, I mean double buttons, double rows of buttons. Though this new model that is a single row with uh, M1938. This this here the M1935. Uh, the 38 wasn't really seen that much. But uh, this model was seen a lot. And here's the rear of them, of course. Uh, here is the back flap goes in here into the tunic for ventilation I assume and here the rear of the tunic here is the belt loop holder belt holder and I want to show you guys the rear of the uh, Trousers. So here are the uh, rear belt strap. So uh, yeah. All right, guys. That was everything for today. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, you know, like, comment, subscribe. Really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, have a good, have a good day, comrades. Bye.